Hello everybody, this is Dave Herman and I'm going to do a little demonstration on Mischief. It's a drawing program. Uh, you can see here different tools that are available on this program and uh, we have brushes here. We have the same tools but can be used to be in erasers. Down here we have our layers, our paper, and trash and erasing and different functions, rotating and sizing and scaling, etc. Pardon me, it's late in the evening. Here's some different papers we can select and our color wheel and our palette. So I'm going to show you first how to make a, uh, a little bit of a color palette. So let's pick a color. We're going to pick a nice size uh, brush here. If you notice up here, this scales the size of your brush and this does the opacity whether you want to be able to see through it you know at varying degrees or solid so for a palette let's do them solid let's go this particular size of a brush let's just take a little red paint let's grab this paint this pigment put it down in our paint swatch and we'll also go over here and put some down because we're gonna make a palette and we can uh, even go a little further up on that brush size. Let's go here. And we'll put down a little paint. Then let's say we want another color, like a green. We'll do that. You can take it down here. And you can also add it out here so you know what you got. Mischief has an infinite canvas, which uh, means you can scale this. Uh, to infinity you can make it tiny you can keep going like this and drag it and, uh, what have you you know you grab it your canvas and uh, let's see you would uh, right here you got your tool for that so you just grab you know your canvas and play with it it's kind of fun that way and uh, let's go back to making a palette. So we're going to go let's take some orange. Let's drag that down here. I'm showing you many options. So you got your color wheel. You've got your selected color. you got your palette. And you've got this space that you're going to work on that we're adding uh, paint to. Right? So we're going to go back to our brush. And we're going to add another pigment. Maybe we want some blue. We'll add that down there. Put some of that over here. And let's take a green. Let's see, we got green. Let's do some kind of a purple. Right, so we got red, yellow, blue, purple, green. And let's get a nice orange. Maybe some kind of orange that, uh, there we go. And you might want some subtler shades, you know, or browns or what have you. So you kind of just look around here and see what you like, like a copperish brown maybe. You want to do that. Put some of that out here. Maybe a black. Let's have some black in there. Let's take a little gray. Might be gray down there, pop a black down there. It doesn't really matter, but you can. So let's go over here, get your gray this time from here. See the palette? You can do that. Or you can use your eyedropper. And that's where these come in. You grab this. Or you grab this. Grab this. So we're changing the background, which we really don't want to change. And so, uh, okay. <laughs> what is going on here? Eyedropper. So I'm going to select the color and 
then I'm going to draw with that color. I can select a color from here, and I can draw from there. Or I can use the eyedropper, select a color from here, So I picked that one. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Select the color. Go back to white. Go back to brush. All right, so say I pick green. I want to draw. I got green. Say I pick this color. Go back to my pen, and I can draw that. So you have these options. So I bungle around here. Get your eyedropper. You want some of this blue. You hit your pen, and you're drawing in blue. Sweet. All right. Now, this again I told you was infinite canvas. So you just click this and you can move this over, even off the screen if you want. And now you got another space to draw. Now, if you want to know where all these are, you can go to pins. These are layers, different layers. Uh, your pins are, Let's see if this does, oh, pins over here, sorry. So pins. This I could call palette, for instance, or my home. That's good. And then I said second pin. So I'm going to add a pin. Home is going to be this canvas. There's my home view. So maybe I want to scale that down a little, rotate it in here. Uh, that's going to be home. Now, my next pin, I might want this off the screen. So let's do that. Let's just scoot this over. And we're going to call this... Let's see here for a minute. So home, if I want it to be this size and like that, let me just uh, bring it in. Okay, I like it like there. So I want to call that home. And that's going to be my color swatches for this example. All right? So let's just do uh, color swatches.
and we'll say OK. Then we want to scale that down. This is so you can go right back to the screen. But I want to save it like that. So Oh, this magnifies. So we don't want to magnify. We just want color smudges. Hmm. That's how you give it a name. Take this one and throw this in the trash. Now we've got color swatches. We had another pin. Then pins. That's for the name. Okay. Pin two. Pin 2, I'm going to make this now. I'm going to throw that in the trash for a minute. No pin 2. I'm going to drag this over. And I'm going to start a little sketch with gray. And I'm going to make that my pin too. So I'm going to go make another layer. I'm going to call it sketch. Okay. So now we're on the infinite canvas. If we want swatches, we go here. If we want to see our sketch, we go here. Okay. So now we've got a little person coming up here. We're shaping. You can see his head in there. So I might take uh, some black. I might, you know, just find the head. There's a shoulder there. Some torso. A couple eyes. Little mouth. Nose and mouth. Back of the shoulders. Coming down here, there's a butt. Leg. Vision line or something. Pretty cool, right? Then say you wanted to throw some color in there. You put another layer on it, so little layers. Remember, pins are different parts of the canvas. Layers are something to go on top of each other. So like if I wanted to put blue in here and I didn't know if I was going to change that later to another color, um, I would do that on a layer. And we'll pick a brush. Let me pick a brush. 
size. That's pretty good. Edit, undo that. Let's pick our color. And let's just put a little blue in there. So you can lay them down in this, but you can't really, uh, you can't smear them. It's, it's a laying down of color kind of program. So you lay it down. Now, this is on a layer, right? So if I go back to this layer and uh, turn off this layer, you can see the layers. All right? Just turning the eye off, turn the line work off, I got the blob. All right? Turn this layer off. You know? See? Okay. So that's why layers are cool. Maybe you wanted to do uh, a brown jacket now. So you could go to this and you could pick a different color and you could fill it in with brown. You know what I mean? Very easy. Now, let's say you got this outside here. You're not really happy with that. You can go to erase. You can enlarge your screen. You know, I'm just blowing this up a little bit. You can take your eraser pen and just kind of cut into that. You don't really have to worry about your line because it's on another layer. See what I mean? So you can fuck around, screw up, make a mistake. Can't erase it because it's on another layer, right? So if I wanted to add brown into that again, I go to my brown layer right here. Get some of that brown, or it'll be in brush. See, I can put that back in there. See that? Kind of cool, huh? So, you know, say so we want to fill in his back a little darker here. Just can do that. Do your watercolor look. And you can scale it, you know, back down, have a look at the man pretty cool stuff so uh, let's take and just add some color out here you know a little sky or something that you'd see so say this gray is bugging you you know you're not really happy with what you see here so you got to go to the layer with that guy that's right there you can take your eraser you could Blot them out like we did, where you can go back, edit, undo. See that? So, say you just wanted to make sure you weren't cutting in too much, and you still didn't like it, then you can undo. You can undo again. Say, so, oh, yeah, pretty cool. Maybe I didn't like this blue at all. Well, let's just keep undoing, you know. Edit, undo, edit, undo. See, so you're getting rid of these strokes. Now, let's grab our little guy. And this is a very casual, you know, setup here, so I can explain some things with you. Let's make him a little bigger. Let's say you want to correct up this foot, for instance. Now you see there's my guy layer right there. We're on it. I'm going to take the eraser. And I'm going to erase. Uh, I'm going to get in the brush. Excuse me. Get the eraser. Take that off. Say we want to shape his foot. You know, we just kind of did some what you call uh, gestures. Gesture art, gesture drawing, where you just have those lines. And now we've come back to this kind of a shape here that we could fix up. You know, uh, make sure we're on the right layer. Maybe pick yourself a brush that you, it's going to be a thin line of black, see? So we can come in here on the brush and just, uh, we got some gray there, so we didn't want that. So let's just go back, undo, edit, undo. Get the black. 
And we got a brush. Make sure we get the black. Okay. I'm going to draw a line here. So the point of some of this is so you can see that you can make errors, you can screw up. You really don't have to worry too much. When you get the principle of layers and um, stuff like that down. So let's shape that. Okay, now we want to get rid of his foot's resting on something. It could be a tree branch. You know, it could be the road. It could be whatever we want. We can leave it there. He could look like he's having a pair of sandals, right? So let's just shape this toe a little. And these will be three other toes, four other toes. Right? So I'll go back to my eraser. I've still got the size of this brush, the thickness of this brush. So you can get way in there. You know, make yourself some toes. Get rid of some extraneous stuff. Like that. Get rid of some of this. Change the shape of these toes a little bit. You know, refine your stuff if you want. You can enlarge it. So you can go really fancy and do everything really fast, but right now we're just playing around, getting a little feel for this program. So, see that's the white line that we had? We don't like it. The point of this video, besides getting you familiar with stuff, is showing you that errors are not something to be afraid of. Right? we got to be in brushes. We were an eraser. Eraser is a brush. Undo, undo. You know, undo, undo. Come back here. Be in brushes, pick black, and draw a line. Okay. This could be a nice wood sandal. So you can have a strap coming through the front toe coming across like this and you don't really want all this stuff that you see here although they could be cross-crossing uh, hatches and stuff like that so we can go back to our eraser we can erase you know as you see me turn this into a foot kind of there you go and you can shape all these toes of course now, let's say we wanted to erase part of this sandal in here. Kind of cool, right? Everything's good. Maybe you want a blue sandal. Let's pick a different brush size. Let's pick a little blue. And let's drop some blue in there. So, uh, let me see something here. New should be able to select our brush shape on the monitor. Like if you want a cursor, or you want to, let's see here for a second. I right now I'm using an arrow, but maybe I don't want an arrow. Well, arrow's good enough for now. You can do the wheel. So brush. Now I'm changing my size. Okay. I still have an arrow cursor. So let me change that cursor. And let me just see here.
Let's go to the tablet. Brush size. Yeah, let's go up here. Let's see what we got here. Pen. Eraser. Mapping. The mode is pen. And I'm kind of curious why we're not seeing the circle. Hmm. I've personally forgotten how you change that to a circle. Where do I slick that? Maybe under cursors. Anyways, all right, we'll work around it. So uh, let's get some blue and add a little blue in here. We're going to be on a, a new layer. So I'm going to do uh, plus the layer, picking this layer, picking a paintbrush, picking a blue, and I'm going to put down some blue. Let's scale our man down a little bit. Selecting the cursors. It, uh, I thought that was part of the Wacom tablet. So device, hand grip, functions, touch. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. All right. Let's say I want to add uh, a big koi fish here. Just for the heck of it. He's going to be riding a koi. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to make a head of a fish. Put an eye in there. Mouth, face. Some barbells. Don't like them, so you go back. You do uh, undo, undo. Say so you want reference for your fish, right? So you can do that. You can go to the internet. Right? We can type in koi. Watch this. Boom. And get some images. Boom. And I'm going to drag that over here. Alright. Now, I'm going to draw me the koi. So I have uh, this eye. Right. I'm gonna take a oops, edit, undo, get rid of that dot, edit, undo. All right, let's go back to the black ink and see so, uh, look in this eye a little bit, like it's looking away. Right. Maybe it's going to have an eyelid kind of thing where it's retracting there. It's going to actually come down his face like so. A little squarish. And uh, come down like this. So I want to erase.
Looks like you're on paper. Only it's way cooler. Way cooler, you know? All right, so we got a little basic there. Now, I want to put a big, some design to it. So I'm uh, back to my brushes. Make sure we got a little black. Okay, we're good there. And we're going to put a fin down here. It's got a little fin there, right? We might want some fin up here. My one is uh, arm to come out here, so I've got like a kind of a shape. This is how I kind of free associate a little bit. So he's got a arm out there. I will take my eraser and I will pick the proper layer. So let's go into where's the fish? Is there anything there we want to? Uh, you can see when you do this, it's not in the right layer, right? So you got to go to the guy, and there's some black up here. See that? And this is all experimenting. We're just really bungling it. I could be doing something really fancy here, but uh, it's not going to teach you about mistakes. It's not going to teach you how to freaking use these utilities. Okay, so we got the brush. We go back to our black brush. I want to be able to create an arm here, see? And he's going to maybe have a rope or he's, right, or he's grabbing the fin, you know? Let's have him grab that fin. He's got his hand up there. We'll find it in a second. Get back into our eraser. Get to the fish one. So we're getting a little bit of a hand. If these lines aren't coming off, you're on the wrong layer, you go to the other layer. See, now we've got a real arm that we found in there. Pretty slick. And you've got a hand developing there, right? So this stuff we want to get rid of. So I'm going to put some black in there for a minute, just for a second here. So you can see how his hand shapes like he's grabbing, right? Okay. Now, let's uh, shape our fish up a little bit more. So quite a multicolored fish. They're a really cool looking fish. You can have, you know, say a blotch of this orange. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into my orange and we get to the brush sizes. I'm going to scroll up a bigger brush right there. We'll put some orange down. So this brush could be even bigger, right? Let's get some orange in our koi. Maybe we want gray in there. Gray is a good koi color. And they're kind of blotchy themselves. You know, you can have black on the nose. Seeing koi like that, getting the little features. It's black back here in the bottom. Remember, we're just developing this as we go along, so that's the beauty of it. So I don't like this part of the fish. Um, I want to get rid of that, so I'm going to just use white. And I don't like maybe that line in the guy, so I'm going to come back and get rid of that. See how we're developing an illustration here? There's many ways to skin the cat, or fish, as it were. And, uh, you know, we don't like this it's coming through the body here on the fish, so we we'll go back to our fish, take a little bit of that out. Now we're getting a fin. You know, I'm going to dial this in a little bit, but you get the idea of what you can do with your layers and stuff, right? Don't be afraid to make a bunch of mistakes. 
There's n there's nothing that can possibly happen to you. And uh, that's how you learn all the tools. Don't be afraid to learn the tools. All right, so let's shape his face a little bit. Let's get into our erasers and just kind of make sure we're in the fish. Now it might be too much, so we'll edit, undo, edit, undo. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to just add some white in here. A couple of whisker things. And let's turn this into a barbell, right? We've got the start of an interesting barbell there. So we'll go back to the black. On the brush, brushes, and that's a little too thick, right? That's a good color, though. Right in that spot, I kind of like that. So let's leave that. Let's come out here, take some of this out of there. Looking pretty sweet. And now we're going to add, go back to the black. We're going to slide this down. We're going to create our barbell. Like that on the other side, that looks kind of goofy. Right? So we had this one and this one, and I'm not too keen on that either. So let's go back and undo and undo. They're just a little too long. Let's do this this way. That's nah, too square. Edit undo. So And that's kind of a fun little lesson to play with. All right, so I'm going to stop this just for the heck of it.